Sir, we like to know from you what is the role of new biomarkers in heart failure, sir? Yes, uh, there are uh, established uh, uh, biomarkers. What they do is they tell you help in diagnosis of the heart failure. What is the reason? But now the new concept is there are other uh, newer novel biomarkers are coming up. There are almost 100 new biomarkers. Now the trend is we can use at least three to four biomarkers in the same patients of heart failure. So what happens, one biomarkers will tell you, the, make you the reach to the correct diagnosis. Then the other biomarkers help you in prognostication okay. as well as titrating the therapeutic options. So, uh, which is very important in a patients of heart failure, which is going tremendously high as, as far as 30 to 40 percent of cardiovascular disease. So they have role in diagnosis as well as prognosis and probably in monitoring these patients. Exactly. So uh, it, it also helps you in, uh, you know, every day, day to day, you can titrate your dose of the patients, whether okay. the dose is correct or not, okay. whether the, is there any side effects, is there any other electrolyte imbalance, which is very common in heart failure patients. So these biomarkers titrate, not only titrate the dose, but also tells upon the, its efficiency, whether the therapeutic options are good or not in a particular patient. So are these biomarkers available routinely for all investigations or the other specific labs only where these are available? Mm, yes. In India, there are very few new biomarkers are available. Mm -hmm. But uh, world over there are other important because they are not only expensive, uh, but also it's not readily available in, in our country. Okay. Another very important point I would like to know in chronic kidney disease, sir, what is role of lipids in CKD patients? In our day-to-day -day practice, we see a lot many patients who have chronic kidney diseases with high serum creatinine, with diabetes, with peripheral vascular disease, diabetic nephropathy, high creatinine level, and then they have a cardiovascular some events. So in that the role of statins are very important. Correct. They are not only controls the lipids, but also they have a pleiotrophic effect also. They stabilize the cardiovascular event rate. So in a patients who are already on a dialysis or in a patients who have undergone a renal transplant. Mm -hmm. So what should be the role of statins? Correct. So statin, uh, irrespective of the renal failure level, can be used in mild, moderate or even end-stage renal disease. Can we use statin safely? Yes, we can use statins uh, quite safely in uh, chronic kidney diseases, but one should have to be uh, very careful about the dosing of okay. statins and okay. what statin you are using. Okay. So if your GF GFR is less than 60, then probably you have to cut off make the half of the dose of statins to be prescribed. Okay. So in a patient who have already on a dialysis, one should be very careful in titrating the doses of statins. So do we need to differentiate between Atorva and Rosuva statin or both can be used in these patients? Uh, as the various uh, meta-analysis and the trials have shown that both are useful. True. But definitely the Rosuva statin is more potent and more efficacious correct and certainly needs much uh, uh, less titrating of the doses re required in the rosewise statin as compared to atorva statin thank you sir thanks a lot for joining and sharing your views with us thank you sir yes uh, there are uh, established uh, uh, biomarkers what they do is they tell you help in diagnosis of the heart.